our tongues for today. Hi, I'm Ken Yates from Grace Evangelical Society, and I would like to share a few thoughts on this very important topic. This question has been an important topic in my whole life. When I was in high school, I was involved in a church where tongues played a major role in everything that that church did. When I became a military chaplain, I worked with chaplains from various denominational stripes, and a fair percentage of them also practiced speaking in tongues. Let me just give you the bottom line up front, as we used to say in the military. I do not believe that tongues are for today. And when I say that, I understand that some who are listening to this are going to be strongly opposed to that. So I would like to take this from a different angle. I would like to just discuss a few things in the New Testament about what we read about tongues and see what we are seeing or and discuss what we are seeing today with the practice of tongues in various Bible studies and in various churches. It's safe to say that in my life I have seen literally thousands of people claim to speak in tongues. Part of my ministry with Grace Evangelical Society is I go to other countries and when I go to some of these countries the vast majority of people in the churches claim to speak in tongues. I just want to point out a few things about what we read in the New Testament. First of all, in Acts chapter 2, we see that tongues are known languages. Oftentimes when people speak in tongues today, or when they claim to speak in tongues, they are not speaking in known languages, and sometimes they'll even say, well, I'm speaking in the languages of angels or the languages that have died throughout time. But that's not what we see in Acts 2, for example. People hear uh, tongues in their own languages and they're able to interpret them. The other thing about tongues in the New Testament is in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 21 through 23, Paul makes the point that tongues are a sign for unbelievers. It is not something for believers. And specifically in that passage, Paul says tongues are for the unbelieving nation of Israel. But when you see people speak in tongues today, that's not the way it's being used. It's almost always said to be, well, this is something that believers do. This is something that builds up believers. But Paul says that's not the purpose of the gift in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 21 through 23. And other times people today say, well, tongues is a private prayer language. But it's never used that way in the New Testament. In fact, spiritual gifts, of which tongues is one of them, is for the edification or the building up of others. How strange is it that someone would claim to have a spiritual gift where they go into a closet to edify themselves? Paul says again that God gives spiritual gifts to build up others. The point that I'm trying to make here is that even if you believe that tongues are for today, I think we have to be honest that what we see, and again, in my experience, the thousands and thousands of examples that I see when it is supposedly being used today are not fulfilling the biblical pattern. They're not known languages that people are speaking. They are not for the unbeliever, but for believers, and they're not edifying others. They're only to edify the individual in his own closet. And I think we have to be honest that what we see today is not the biblical practice that we read about in the New Testament books, such as in Acts and in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Tongues today whatever is going on, is not 
obedient to the teachings of Scripture. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you push the subscribe button at the bottom of the page. And remember, focus on Christ.